Hello friends welcome back to our TS Info YouTube channel this is Ganesh Yadav in this video we are going to discuss the Power Apps update collection everyone knows the Power Apps collection is a temporary storage area for data sometimes we need to update or add a new record to the collection and updating a Power Apps collection typically involves adding modifying or removing the records from the collection based on the user actions or other events within the application Suppose you want to update the collection item in Power Apps, you can use two different functions like like one is update function. The Power Apps update function is used to replace entire the record in a data source. Like syntax of the Power Apps update function is update data source, old record, new record, and all. Here you can see the data source. This contains all the records that you want to replace. It may be a table or collection, etc. Old record means it is the record that you want to replace and the new record is a replacement record this is not change record here the entire record is replaced and all is mentioned that all the argument to remove all copies of the record and second one is update if function the power apps update if function used to modify one single record or one more records that matches one or more conditions. Here you can see syntax of the power apps update if function is update if data source condition 1 change record 1 condition 2 change record 2. And here you can see this data source contains one or more records you want to modify. This condition you can use column names of a data source in the formula it evaluates to true for the record that you want to modify and change records you can provide a change record of your new property values that satisfy the conditions next i will show you practically how to update the collection in a power apps canvas app log in your power apps with your respective microsoft credentials and whenever you want to create a blank canvas app just click on the create button here select the blank app then choose blank canvas app and provide the app name and choose the format like tablet or phone then click on the create button first of all i will show you how to update the power apps collection using a update function here you can see this is my sharepoint online list like product details inside this i have added some records based on the different columns now i would like to add this sharepoint online list to the collection then i need to update the collection for that go to the power apps here whenever you want to add a sharepoint online list to the power app just go to the data section here select the add data then choose sharepoint here select your sharepoint online site then choose your sharepoint online list like product details then select the connect button now go to the default screen and change the screen name to create a power apps collection just select the app object here select the on stored property and create collection Here you can see this is my collection name like collection products. This is my SharePoint online list. Then click on the run on start property to get the created collection. Now go to the default screen. Here insert the gallery control for that expand the insert tab and search gallery. You can also change the layout as per your needs. then set its items property like now i would like to update the title price and quantity based on the title field like product name for that insert a button control
and change the button text like update then set its on select property like you can see here this is my collection name like collection products now i would like to change the product name like product name is equal to laptop then it will be change the title price and quantity as well now once your app is ready just save and publish the app and finally go to the preview section here when the user select tabs the button control the specific item record will be changed in the power apps collection like this next i will show you how to update the power apps collection item using update if function in this example whenever user select any collection record from the gallery control it will navigate to the edit form where you can edit or update the selected collection record once your updates are done just click on the button control to save the updates records in a collection as well as it will redirect to the gallery control to achieve it just insert a another blank screen and rename the screen next insert a edit form then set its data source as sharepoint online list then set its item property like and to get the collection fields on a edit form control just click on the edit fields option here select the add field and choose your respective fields then click on the add button now insert a button control and change the button text then set its on select property like here you can see this is my collection name and this is my gallery name and text to product name text to product price and text to product quantity are data cards in a edit form control and finally here you can see i am using navigate function to navigate the first screen now go to the first screen here select the next arrow then set its on select property like here you can see this is my second screen name now go to the preview section once the user selects any collection record from the gallery control it will navigate to the edit form now edit or update the records Once your updates are done just click on the button control to save the updates records in the collection as well as it will redirect to the gallery control like this Now add the text labels and set its text to property like and change the font size and insert another text label and set its text to property like similarly add another text label now insert a text input controls
and set its default property as blank. Similarly insert another two text input controls. Now rename the text input controls. Now insert a button control. and change is text property then set its on select property like here you can see this is my collection name like collection user info and these are my text input controls now go to the preview section and to provide the user details. And click on the button control. Once you click on the button control, the new item will be added on the collection. To view the collection, Click on the variable section, here expand the collection and select the collection and click on view table where you will get the created collection. Yes friends this is all about how to update collection in power apps. I hope guys you like this video to give you a like and do subscribe our youtube channel for more free videos on SharePoint online power apps, power automate and power bi. Thank you.